Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Nothing is launching. I want to like punch a table. But um, all right. Well, I kind of getting sick and tired of like finding projects that are not launched yet. So I'm just gonna do this video and I'll have to do another up. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to write. <sighs> not launched yet. Pub sale. AP, uh, April 20th. So I'm actually kind of annoyed that this is not launched yet because I want live content, not whatever. But anyway, by the time you see this, you know, if you want to, if you're crazy enough to do this, you could get in the public pre sale. I'll have the link, which is over here. And, uh, you know, you have plenty of time. As of this video, one day, three hours, and 22 minutes, basically. Now, there's an obvious problem. This is actually on Ethereum, so you know this is going to be a hard pass for me, no matter how good it is, all right, because I don't want to deal with Ethereum. All right, when I looked at uh, Renzo's channel, he said, gas fees are only $50. Well, I know I have money, but I mean $50? You know how many Big Macs and Whoppers I could buy with that money? That's like an entire week's worth of fast food for me, all right? It's not even good for me, all right? And I, uh, <laughs> so I mean, uh, but that being said, it is on Ethereum, so, I mean, that's where all the really rich people play. So, maybe this could actually work out. Because I think there is a reason why there's not a lot of Titano forks on Ethereum. In fact, I don't even know if there are any. Because uh, it would be news to me, you know, and maybe leave a comment in the uh, description or comment section below of this video. Uh, and then I'll take a look. But anyway, Ticket Inu is obviously playing off of the Shiba Inu dog coin uh, meme, right? Dogecoin meme. So that's very, that's actually very good positive. Uh, number two, even though I don't like Ethereum, this is actually a very big positive because Ethereum is obviously, you know, mucho dinero, Robert Nero's, right? A lot of money, right? The, like the world's, the world's second largest amount of money to be specific, all right? So that's a lot of money. And oh my god, Bitcoin's already hitting 42,000. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is beautiful. My minor project's going to be soaring now. <laughs> because it all pays out in Binance Coin, Phantom, Avalanche, Cardano. <laughs> See, that's why, that's why it's very nice. Okay, so these guys are paying 422.5 thousand yearly APY. There's the insurance. Uh, so basically, it's like your Titano or Web whatever. Uh, here's the contract address. Uh, I'm not going to link to it because I want you to go to the actual website and then get it yourself just to, just to make sure that there's like no crazy, like, you know, redirect web scams and then you lose all your money when they hack your, your wallet. The last person who purchases a ticket within 15 minutes will sweep and receive the entire lottery prize. So this is a really nice thing. So these guys definitely are working on their version of Titano Play or Sphere Games. And uh, this is actually really good. This actually will cause a shit ton of FOMO, especially within. I don't know what this means, and obviously I don't, I'm not going to do this thing. But this, this is. I can already tell this is really, really good. Okay, this is really, really good. All right. The industry's highest APY rebase reward there 15 buy and hold win a lottery with your ticket. Uh. Okay. Great. Uh, insurance fund, blah, blah, 1% buy, 2% sell tax. We applied to all transactions and sent to a sweep pool. Every 15 minutes, the clock could be reset. The clock cannot be reset from sells. Ah, okay, so you have to buy it, so that's good. If there are no buys within 15 minutes, then the last person who bought a ticket will sweep and receive the entire pool. If someone does buy within the 15 minutes, then the timer will be reset. The sweep pool will increase in size. Holy shit. Wait, I, we need to reread this, but let's get the other stuff out of the way. Yeah, they got a treasury that funds our investments, fine, blah, blah, blah. They call their burning pool the infinity pool, so 2.5% of all ticket trades are, okay, great. One, okay, we got to read this. This is actually the most important thing of this project. Holy shit. 1% buys, I should have went to the bathroom. 1% buy, 2% sell. God, I just realized when this project goes live, I have to do another video on this, and then I have to repeat this. Okay, the good news is it'll be a much shorter video, and I'll just talk about this again. And then I'll just say, yeah, it has the other... I'll just say that in the future video. It's I already, I'll just say, hey, I did the previous video on it. If you want to know about the other stuff, but it's like everything else, so whatever, blah, 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 who cares? 
we want to go to the suite because <laughs> that's actually what matters. <clears throat> One percent by two percent. You know, if this actually was not on Ethereum, I would probably do this project. Uh, One percent by two percent sell tax will be applied to all transactions sent to the sweep pool. Okay, so I guess you, I guess when you buy a ticket, okay. So I don't know how you have to buy a ticket, but <clears throat> if you have to go from Ethereum to Ticket Inu and then from Ticket Inu to the sweep, oh, maybe it's just part. Of, maybe that's just part of the. Well, where does it say the buy sell tax? Thanks for not letting me. Okay, here we go. So maybe part of. <clears throat> so maybe when maybe one percent of the, out of this fifteen percent is actually going into here. I think that's what it is. Okay, maybe that. Oh yeah, it tells you. Oh, duh, it tells you right here. Okay, so that's what they mean. Okay, good. So every fifteen minutes, the clock can be reset. The clock can only be reset from buying, not from sales. If there are no buys within fifteen minutes, then the last person who bought the ticket will get the entire thing. So think of it as the Milk Cardano Shiba thing with the PvP battles. I actually recently stopped because there was uh, there was like two or three guys that were constantly out sniping me with like these fucking shit buys, and it's like okay, you know what, whatever, you you can have it. Especially because Lucky Cat Cardano is now out, so I just do that instead. I still have I still have a much smaller position in my Milk Shiba though. I because I, I like the guys, so you know I'll I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. I mean, I already got back my money plus extra, so now I just don't really care anyway if it goes to zero. Obviously, I would prefer it does not do that, and I'm sure everyone else would not. But uh, but this is much better than the PvP battles of Milk Cardano because because every 15 minutes instead of every 30 minutes, basically, uh, you have to actually keep buying. And then you have to be lucky enough that no one else buys. So basically, you're going to be sniping this shit when everyone else is asleep. That That's... But that's just, that's impossible. Not with this. This is going to be impossible. Uh, so what's going to happen basically is no one's going to win this, and everyone's going to keep buying. And at some point, the sweep pool will be like you know fifty million dollars, a hundred million dollars, a hundred fifty million, right? So what do you think that does? It creates infinite buying pressure into this. And according to the, this description, it does not actually matter how much the buy is. You just have to buy something. So you're going to have a lot of people doing micro buys and whatever, and that's going to inflate the hell of the deck screener chart where it just says, hey, every five minutes, every 24 hours, how many buys to sells? It's going to look very, very good. Um, so I can definitely see why Renzo, according to his YouTube description, is, is investing $5,000 into this. Um, I mean, I have the money to invest into this if I really want to, but I've been damaging my sphere stack so badly and that's where I have to draw money from that, you know what, I'll just pass. Um, but with that being said, this already looks like a very good project, without a doubt. All right, and then, of course, you have, you know, all this stuff, right? And that's funny, too. Yeah, I don't know why Titano still has not come out with their Titano play yet. Like, do they not realize how important it is to have that? Right? Sphere Games already had it, already brought back Sphere Games, right? Which is their version of Titano play. So anyway, you can just look at this if you want. I don't really care. Uh, but all right. So yeah, because yeah. So basically, this is a Seifu fork, but with like a really good lottery system. Hey, as long as you have fucking something, right? You know, you're doing NFTs, you're doing something else, or a lottery system, right? Very simple, very straightforward. Everyone understands it. It obviously works, all right? That's why to this day we like at least here in America we have lotteries from the state government. I'm sure wherever you live, you have something similar too, right? So if you're in India, they have, I don't know, what's a province in... What? I used to remember my geography about India. Capital of India. All right, so... God, it was right... It was a couple, it was a couple degrees separated from my brain. All right, so maybe you live in New Delhi, right? And they have the New Delhi lottery system, all right? So, yeah, so it's obviously a proven concept, right? So it's legit. So this is actually really good. Like, this sweep thing is actually going to cause so many people to keep buying. And I like what, what I like about it is it's very fair, right? Because, again, you just buy. So you could buy, like, $10 worth of Ticket Inu, right? A very small amount of money, at least especially compared to Ethereum here. 
And then you could, if you get lucky and no one buys in 15 minutes, you get this whole fucking shebang. You get, like, oh man, this is, this is really good. Shit. Why did this have to be on Ethereum? Why did it have to be on Ethereum? Why? I don't know. Maybe I should do the public pre-sale. Fuck. I don't know, man. This is, man, I really don't want to deal with Ethereum though. All right, so I'm not going to look at any of this other stuff. There's only one thing I do want to look at, and that is long-term interest cycle. Yes. So in the last video I did, Leonidas Finance, they did not have this. Here they do have this. So even better. Uh, until max supply is reached. What is their max supply? Uh, okay. Can you... Fixed APY? No, I already know that. How APY is calculated. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll actually link directly to this, right? Because you want to look at what your... So basically, it's just exactly like Seifu. Uh, ticket overview. Okay, I don't care what the max supply is. I, I don't. I, I want to keep this video, video short. Actually, wait. The pink sale probably tells you. Or not. No. Okay. Well, I assume it's going to be 3.25 billion, or I guess you could just find out on their Discord if you really care. But they're obviously going to, you know, cap out. So even though this thing goes down a lot, because of this really good, innovative, if you call it innovative, uh, lottery system, yeah. I mean, even if the project, quote unquote, dies and all the hype dies out, you're still going to have people playing for the sweep. So, and again, it does not trigger on sells or, or dumps. You have, to buy, you have to buy this thing. So this thing will always have an intrinsic value. So uh, for those of you who are crazy enough to go into Ethereum, yeah, this is actually a very, very interesting project. Again, I wouldn't go too crazy. And of course, you could just buy the, you know, to be honest, I may not actually do an update video to this because there's really not much more to talk about. So, you know, I don't like writing duplicate content unless, like, there's something new to say. So, anyway, I'll, I'll put a link to this. Uh, I, I personally will not plan on investing in this despite actually how excited I am about this kind of project. All right. You know, and on top of that, it looks, you know, it looks reasonably well, uh, well done, right, graphics-wise. And, of course... You know, this thing's got a lot of positives. I'll write it out in the description, but again, I'll summarize. Uh, actual Seifu type style project, so the APY does go down. All right. Um, if you're planning to invest in this, you have a day and three hours to get into the pre sale and decide what you want. And you can only invest a maximum of 3.25 Ethereum, so that's about 12, they're about $13,000 right now. No, I, I overestimate. It's about ten thousand dollars, eleven thousand dollars. Of course, crypto is going much higher. I mean, crypto is way undersold anyway. So I don't know. This thing should be Bitcoin should be fifty grand, and everything else should be up accordingly. Uh, it's using the dog coin sh uh, Shiba Inu meme, right? Called Ticket Inu, very because people like their dogs, right? Because when I go out, like, like there's a 10, 20 percent chance that any fucking dog I walk by wants to like bite my head off, right? But the it's like, so people like their dogs, all right? That's why I carry a baseball bat with me now, right? Because not only do I have to fend myself off against potential humans that want to kill me for being Chinese, I have to worry about fucking dogs now, right? It's like, I don't know what the hell everyone's problem is. It's very annoying, all right? For all I know, I might find the same problem in Florida. It's, uh, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, God will deal with it, obviously. So anyway, uh, so they have that. You have the Shiba Inu meme, very good. And of course, the granddaddy of it all, you know, the sweep function. So you're on Ethereum, there's a lot of money. Ticket Inu, playing off of the dog, Doge Shiba Inu meme. And a really, really solid lottery system. Like, this definitely looks like a pretty good winner. And of course, you know, the APY drops. So... Uh, so you have something that constantly does buying pressure. So yeah, I can see why Renzo is willing to gamble five grand in this and is willing to pay the Ethereum gas fees. I can't believe it. The gas fees are fifty dollars. You know, if I ever want to dump my congruent uh, tokens, right? Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't even want to think about that, man. Freaking heaven. Anyway, check definitely check out Ticket Inu. It's technically not out yet because obviously it's in a ticket token presale. I assume this is a public presale, right? I don't know if there's a whitelist for private presale. I guess I don't really care. 
but uh, yeah, uh, check it out. This is on Ethereum, all right? So this is where the big boys, the big girls play. And of course, after one year, the APY will basically become very sustainable. So it'll actually become more of like a store of value like Do Dogecoin or Shiba Inu or Bitcoin, especially with the max supply. So this could actually be a very good long-term play. Uh, actually, it could be a very good play period, actually, be short, medium, and long term. So it's kind of interesting. I, I, I'm i pretty sure that I'm actually passing on a very good project by not investing in this simply because I don't like Ethereum. But, I mean, I'm okay with it. Well, not really, but I always find new opportunities, and that's why I like doing, you know, endless amounts of projects, right? You know, like, what do I always say, right? What, in fact, what I now start explaining to family members and other people who may want to learn, right? You invest in 10 different projects, not all of them are going to be shit, but that one project will be really good, like Sphere, right? And then now you have Sphere producing you income constantly, so now you have to go out and invest in another 10 projects. So those 10 projects, those two, those 10 new projects, none of them are going to fail, and one of them will become like Sphere. Now you have two Sphere projects, both producing you more income. And you just rinse and repeat. That's all that it is. It's exactly like dating, right? In my case, I'm a man. I date 10, 20 girls. Nine to 19 of them are going to be like shit or they don't like me or whatever. I don't like them. And then, but that one girl will be like, hey, yeah, you know, she'll be my wife someday. And then we'll have lots of kids. And then she'll be very, well, then we'll be very happy, right? You know, so whatever. It's the same shit here. So, you know, uh, yeah, so anyway, whatever. Uh, okay, so check out Ticket Inu. It definitely looks very salivating. Um, of course, it'll have, if it if it does really well on launch, it'll go straight up. And then, of course, there'll be a correction. And then, you know, you'll find the real value. But with that being said, I mean, uh, if this was not an Ethereum, I would actually definitely do their, their thing here. Uh, their pre-sale pink sale. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, check out, wait, I already said that. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I will not do an update video on this unless I invest in it and I feel there's something new to talk about. Uh, so I can delete that. And out back and not out. So the next video will be the high finance, which I found out from Yield Wolf Discord. There are tomb forks, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, I will not be investing in any more tomb forks anymore. I, I like I have to see something really substantial, um, but you know, well, you know, we'll see. So anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll see. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video, spread the word around. You know, to help grow the channel. Thank you again to all the new people who are coming in and will be coming in. Definitely check out ticketinu.com. You even have a .com, and yeah, I actually really like this project. Too bad for me personally it's on ethereum so i will be passing but yeah i know i know that will be a mistake for me i know i know i know it's going to be a mistake oh hey they have an application here oh they even have the dap open too I've, i see there's nothing in here i'm i guess i could connect it uh sure oh okay so this is their dap all right so i'll link to this as well so you know, enjoy. This obviously looks very legit. Uh, I mean, could still be a scam, but I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is a pretty elaborate scam, if it really is. But I mean, everything seems to check out. So, and I assume everyone's talking about this project. So, yeah. All right, I'm rambling. I'll see you in the next video. It'll be a tomb fork, surprisingly. Uh, yeah. So yeah, 19 minutes. Not too bad.